guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be an ebay and amazon haul so everything that i've got for the baby that i have ordered from ebay or from amazon so it's going to be quite a quick video as i don't have loads and what i'm going to do is just add where i've got it from on the actual video and also i will leave the link in my description box of every single item so if you are new here my name is Sophie and I am nearly 30 weeks pregnant with my first baby and I have no idea of the sex of my baby so please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give my video a nice thumbs up so we're just going to jump straight into it so the first thing that I will show you is this little hacker breast pump so I'm just going to zoom in. So it's one of the light like, hackers. So if you have an actual breast pump on one breast, then you can put the little pup, pop the hacker on the other one. Or if you are feeding the baby, you can also pop the hacker on the other breast and it will just collect like little bits of milk. So I've heard these are really, really good. Obviously, I think some people actually generally use these as breast pumps because they're not very expensive at all, but I think you kind of have to squeeze. But if you are feeding in one or you are collecting milk in one, it will gather just a little bit out of the other. So yeah, I've heard and really, really good things about these and this one was from eBay. So next up, we have similar we've got the medela breast pump bags breast milk storage bags sorry so they have like a zip lock on and then you actually cut them off this little section where you can add the day of when you store the milk so that it's a lot easier to store and i've just heard that if you lie them flat like that and the milk goes into like the whole bag you can store them a lot easier they do stand up though they've got like a little bit on the bottom so you can store them like stood up like that but our freezer is drawers so I think a lot easier for us to lay them down so there's 50 bags in here so I'm hoping that that is enough for me to use I have got a few samples of ones that I got from the baby show so hopefully around 60 bags will be enough to be storing our breast milk so they are the Medela breast milk storage bags and then we've got these Tommy Tippy closer to nature milk dispensers so someone told me about these and they're just really really good from the go apparently so they they store like a serving of powdered milk so if you're out and about and you you know you're out for the day or you're sending your child to someone else's house then there is six powder dispensers and they're apparently like this big in fact i might as well get them out apparently as if i don't actually have them so this is the size and then obviously you just put the lid on top and you store the milk in there and then you can just pop it into your bottle. So a lot of people will have these in like their changing bag or send it to say the grandparents house or a friend's house, whoever's looking after the baby and they can either use kettle water or if you're in a, out and about you might use a flask if that's if your baby wants to drink hot milk a bottle should never be left for more than three hours so you should never make bottles before you leave the house if you're going to be out for a long time i think in fact i think it's about two hours you can leave a bottle for so i just got told these were really really good for just carrying your powder everywhere but i'm hoping i don't need to use these for a while because hopefully i can breastfeed for as long as i want to or at least the first three months anyway so hopefully these will only come in handy in like after christmas then i grabbed some of these milton sterilizing tablets so again i've seen these before and i know that milton do like all the kitchen sprays and the wipes and they do a lot of baby safe cleaning products and antibacterial sort of things so we don't yet have a steriliser because one our kitchen doesn't have a lot of storage and secondly I've gone for the man bottles and they are self sterilizing so I just thought getting an actual steriliser is probably a bit of a waste of time and a bit of waste of space so what I'm going to do is just buy the Milton sterilizing bucket and then you pop a tablet in and pop all your things in there so you can so you can obviously sterilize like your bottles your soothers dummies spoons teething things breast pump parts 
like even the milk storage containers so these you'd want to sterilize these as well as you do obviously want them to go moldy so apparently they're just a really easy quick tablet so this 40 tablets i'll probably end up using like three or four a week so i will definitely need to get more of these and again hopefully because i will be breastfeeding i'm hoping that i don't have to express that many times i'd like to just sort of let josh do one bottle a day so hopefully i won't need to be sterilizing all the time but i'll definitely need to grab some more of these so next i have got so we have been kindly gifted the snus pod which is absolutely gorgeous it's just sitting here right next to me now as the baby's room is currently being decorated and they sent me the snus pod and the snus cloud but i didn't have any bedding so i grabbed these off amazon so it's a three piece bedding set so you've got two fitted sheets and then a jersey blanket so i've heard that when babies are young it's best to use like a jersey blanket that's fitted right under the mattress and then the baby's like kept at the bottom especially because we're having a summer baby i don't think i'll be throwing like a sleeping bag or anything on them straight away and the big sleeping bags you shouldn't use them until they are a bit bigger anyway so again i am probably going to have to get some more of these and they are white which i didn't really think through so if the baby does have an accident they are going to get dirty very very quickly and i can imagine that you'd have to go through at least one sheet a week so i'm definitely going to have to buy some more but i think i'm just going to buy some of the cheaper versions but i just thought it would be nice to have some actual snus ones and especially with the jersey blanket as well because hopefully that won't get as dirty as the actual sheets and i can just use that more often so next for the sort of room nursery things i have bought some storage boxes for the baby's clothes which will go into the drawers so i've got them in grey because the drawers are in grey so they've come in all different sizes and they've come in like a flat pack like this and i think there's 15 12 there's 12 drawer organizers and they are literally they just fold out and look, look like that so they're all different shapes all different sizes so i will literally just slot these into the drawers and i will fill them with things like socks bibs i'll roll up like the baby grows i'll roll up baby vests and things like shoes or headbands if it's a girl or just little accessories so there's 12 of these so i'm hoping that they'll all fit nicely together in the two top drawers i think our changing unit has got three drawers in it so i'm hoping that i can get like six of each organizer in one drawer i've just seen it's just a really good way of organizing because i think if you've got like a big empty drawer and you're just shoving loads of baby stuff in there it's quite difficult because obviously you've got baby grows you've got baby vests you've got leggings you've got t-shirts you've got socks like there's all sorts like as an adult we don't throw all of our clothes into one drawer well, I know I don't. I've got things hung up. I've got a drawer for like t-shirts. I've got a drawer for jumpers. So I think when they're a baby and everything's so small, it's definitely good to have the drawers a lot more organised. So I'm really excited for the baby's room to get finished and then I can crack on with organising the drawers, which is like the most exciting thing ever. So lastly, we are just going to go through some of the clothes that I've got. So firstly, I've grabbed one of the Love to Dream swaddles. I heard these were an absolute godsend. A lot of people are not into swaddling, but I think with these, because they put their arms up, it actually just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable because they're not fully like tight to themselves. I've heard amazing things about these. I've seen so many people tag them on Instagram and say that the baby literally slept all night. So I've got it in a one tog because it's in a newborn size and obviously with us having an august baby it is good for like a 20 24 degrees bedroom so i'm hoping that this is the right size so like with a one tog it says if it's 20 degrees in the room then you would put a baby girl on with this and if it's even higher then you wouldn't even use anything you would just put the swaddle straight on with the baby's nappy so there's a nice little chart at the back as well which tells you when you should use it and how the baby should wear it so it's meant to be really good for safer sleeping it's better than 
swaddling your baby with a loose blanket or a muslin because they can't get out of it it's obviously like a zip up but I don't know if anybody follows Nadia Thorburn on Instagram she has triplets and she is an absolutely amazing mum I can't even get over how well she copes and all her three triplets literally wear one of these every night and they're all fast asleep in a line in their sleep heads and I just think wow that looks the dream like her babies literally nearly sleep all night and she's got three of them and they all wear one of these so she swears by it and I've seen loads of people swear by it so I will link this in the description box below then lastly I've just got two items of clothing that I've got off eBay and they're just really nice unisex beigey nudie clothing so firstly there's this little white ribbed bodysuit and it's just got some like tortoise shell buttons on I'm not really sure what size it is I think it's one to three months it doesn't actually say because I think it's Chinese so I can't even remember what sizes they are but the but they're both meant to be the same size so this is just like a nice white long sleeve bodysuit I think it's absolutely stunning and it just look gorgeous with a pair of leggings or even just on its own with some socks if the weather's obviously warm and then next there is this beige ribbed full length baby grow but it just doesn't have the feet on the bottom so this is apparently the same size as that although I do think the white one is a tiny bit smaller because it finishes a lot higher up I think it finishes about there on here so this must just be a little bit bigger but it's a gorgeous stone colour you can see that it's really nice and ribbed and it's got some gorgeous white little buttons and to be fair it's really good quality say it's for me but it was cheap and cheerful but I just think they're lovely and I'm definitely going to be ordering more when I know what the sex of the baby is because they also do some gorgeous like blues and pinks and corals and things like that. So I will definitely be ordering more of these little outfits. So everything that has been on my video today I will link in the description box below and I'll firstly do what I got from Amazon and then what I got off eBay. So thank you so much for watching my video. I've got 10 weeks left now so I'm hoping that I can still bring you lots of pregnancy content before I bring you the actual baby slash newborn content and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.